Hello everyone, I'm Neeraj Agrawal and I'm going to give you a brief demo of the Road Fighter theme. So Road Fighter is a nice theme for creating your business websites. So as you can see, the Road Fighter themes looks something like this. It comes with a nice area to put your logos on the header. You can similarly put your contact details on the top so that people can actually communicate with you easily. It comes with a nice navigation, which is actually a, a drop-down navigation for putting up your menus in a best way possible. It comes with a full width slider where you can actually insert multiple images related to your niche. Next, there is an area for putting up your main heading, some featured content, there's an area for putting up your latest blog post and a testimonial area and an area to redirect your users to any particular point wherever you want. In the end, there is a nice area in the footer for, which is completely widgetized where you can actually insert any kind of widget of whatever you want. So in today's demo, what I will do is I will just create a similar looking website from scratch. So right here, I have a default 2012 theme installed over here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm first of all, I'm going to activate the Road Fighter theme. So as of now, you can see this, I have the available Road Fighter theme over here, and I'm just going to activate this Road Fighter theme. As soon as the theme is activated, you will just see that the 2012 theme will completely be replaced by the Road Fighter theme. And this is how the theme will look after the first time installation. So next, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to change or create this slider and will add few images in the slider area. So I'm moving back to the appearance and under the theme options area. So theme options area covers general settings, slider settings, homepage feature area, homepage bottom feature area, the contact page map area, styling options, social icons, footer settings and few SEO options. The general settings covers logos, favicon, background images. If you have a mobile navigation menu, it also covers the mobile navigation menu text, the top right contact details text, and the phone number if you want to implement the tap to call feature. And similarly, you can put up your tracking code for uh, tracking how many visitors actually visit your website. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to insert few images in the slider area. So what I'm doing is I'm going on the front end of the website and I'm going to upload somewhere around four or five images in the slider area. So I go, I went to the slider settings and under the first slider image, I'm going to full upload my first slider. So I just uploaded my first slider image. If you have some heading, you can actually put the, that heading over here. If you want to link your first slider to anywhere, you can actually put the link of that particular page over here. You can similarly add any description to, to this particular slide. I'm going to upload the image for the second slide. And similarly, I'm going to upload images for third and fourth, sli fourth slides. As soon as the images are uploaded, I'm going to the bottom of this page and I'm going to do the save all changes button. As soon as this, all the changes are saved, you can just refresh the page and you will see that a nice background slider is appearing on your website. So now let's try to change this contact form or contact number from the theme options panel. So we will just go to the general settings. And under the general settings, there's an option for top right contact details. And I'm just changing this contact detail to something that I need. So this is what I need to put in my contactors. And if you want someone to actually press this number through mobile and call you directly, you can actually put your mobile number over here. I'm just saving all the changes. And as soon as I went back to the front page of the website, you can see your contact details are changed. Contact us anytime at this. And if you're going to open this website through some mobile browser, 
you will actually see this button changing to talk tap to call which users can actually just click on this button and can call you directly. So similarly, this theme comes with a multiple color options as well, which you can actually set through the styling options tab. Under the styling options tab, right now you can see the theme is completely in the orange color tint. What I will do is I'll just change the tint of this particular theme to, I think, to the blue color. So I just chose the dark blue color and I'm just saving the changes. Moving back to the front end of the website, you can see that your website is completely changed to a blue tint website. Your, your footers are blue. All the hover effects are in blue color now. And you can see a top bar in a blue color. So this is something that you can actually do with the Road Fighter theme. There are several uh, customers website which are actually built through Road Fighter and which really look very very nice and you can use this website for just about any niche possible. If you are a yoga instructor you can create website for yoga segment. If you are a florist you can create website for florist segment and just about any business niche can use the Road Fighter theme to create the website uh, for, for his particular segment. So I think you will definitely like this theme and it is really very very simple to use and I, I'm looking forward to you testing this out for sure. Thanks for watching this video.